Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of my F1 24 ASMR career mode and I have remembered to do a 25% race this time like I was going to do last time. We're here at the Australian Grand Prix. We finished ninth in our opening race in Bahrain and we're hoping to try and get some more points on the board. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump straight into the practice sessions we're just going to simulate them try and do the best job we can and uh, get some more xp points or experience points that we can use to develop the car because it really does need developing i think we're like the eighth best car or the seventh best car or something so yeah so that's only a session there yeah australia is a track that i tend to do fairly okay on it is a track that i do enjoy driving i know a lot of people think it's a bit bland but no, it is something, it is a track that I really, really enjoy. So as we go into qualifying, hopefully we won't finish last this time and I won't be caught out by how much of a boat this car is at the moment. I do love this track. It is like, as an, as an F1 fan growing up in the 2000s, it was sort of like a traditional curtain raiser. And it was like one of my highlights of my year, getting up at like a stupid time in the morning. To watch the first race of the season in Australia and that's always what this race is to me it always signifies the start of an F1 season and I think it actually is the F1 is the first race in 2025 it's the first time it's been the first race for quite a while so um yeah looking forward to that should be quite nice this is looking like a decent lap so far see Lando Norris setting a pace i should turn corners i was going to turn off um the um racing lines in the corners because i've been playing these games for years i don't need them i don't know why i have them on to be honest it just makes me look like a five-year-old playing this for the first time also i've decided to record this on one of the windiest days known to man and there's a lot of wind blowing around on my roof and all of that stuff so i'm going to try and make sure that there's no sort of banging going on in the background when i edit this video but hopefully there won't be anything to oh god that's a terrible way to take that corner I'm gonna suffer for a big time here we could have finished at like 11th or something it's going to be p16 another dreadful qualifying which would have seen us out in q1 had we done the normal um, sessions so we're now qualified by gasly again it's quite close between the top three and the Claire only three tenths behind Gasly in 12th place myself in 16th I was only four tenths behind him still not great but you know it's not it's not too bad and we've only qualified in front of the Salvers Sergeant and Hulkenberg had quite a, a poor session that's quite surprising um, but yeah, there we go. So we're P16 on the grid. We're going to have to do another salvage job to try and get ourselves into the points. We have got more laps to do it in though. We've got a 15 lap race this time. Let's see if we can make it happen. And we've had absolutely no points added to our uh, rating. That's how well that session went. And here we go. The sun is out for the Australian Grand Prix. We've got that beautiful lake in the background and hopefully we won't end up in it so we try to improve our driving standards from last time where i was a little bit reckless i'll skip the grid again so race strategy i'm gonna go with the only setup i have um should we start on the medium tire it's not going to be a lot in it to be fair but we might be able to extend if possible we've got 18 laps of fuel in the car probably maybe a little bit too much but it will allow us to run in a higher fuel mixture for longer so hopefully that will pay dividends so yeah we'll go medium hard and then see how it goes we could even adjust it maybe go medium soft depending on how the race goes um, but here we go then 15 laps of melbourne and it's lights out and away we go ricardo getting a poor start at his home race i was trying to have a look up the inside but ricardo has well and truly taken that line we're gonna go up the inside here sneaky little corner cut there but we're gonna get punished for it so up into p13 we can have a little look down here 
I'm on that little look, I'll be inside about four. Oh, I've done it again, I've done it again. A terrible driver. Let me outside of Albon into 11th place. Jesus Christ. I thought I had it and then the car just didn't turn. And then I took two cars with me. Now I've got Albon all over the back. And there's that. Oh my God. I can't even drive properly without wheel banging. Because Gasly has a little look around the outside and Albon's really slow. Pretty much pushing him round the corner. Let's see if I can actually overtake someone cleanly. Can't even overtake, didn't have the pace. Um, I know I'm probably going to get a lot of um, comments about the view that I use. Because I remember when I used to, um, when I've raced in past games, a lot of the comments were like, why the hell do you use this view? And the answer is simply because I like it. And you get to see more of what's around you. And a greater anticipation of what's coming. And I say you put your car in a better place, but obviously watching me, you'll know that I don't really do that very well. <laughs> but yeah, I have this view because I like it. I know the traditional view is like the sort of TV cam, the T cam. But no, I've over the years I've sort of gravitated towards this one. Now I've got my teammate all over the back of me, and I've just got to let him go because he's got DRS, and I've barely got any battery. I've got like fourteen percent. But we are really quick through this sort of little chicane and we're having to basically push a car around it again. But we've lost two places. I have a feeling that in this race we're just going to go backwards. Hopefully we don't finish last. I don't know what game... Oh no! Oh god, that was a, that was a close one. Kevin Magnussen. I don't really know what happened there. But I was coming in and Mag Magnussen kind of just hits me. I don't think I'm actually at fault for that one. So look at it from Magnuson's point of view. He's coming round and he just drives into me. Don't know whether I'm being biased towards myself, but I, you know, I kept to the outside. I left the door open. I think he just hit me. It's a bit weird, but we've kept the place. We've lost ground on Gasly and Sonoda now. But obviously, we've got a lot of um, soft runners behind us, so the tyres. Their tyres are going to be working well for the next couple of laps. So uh, they're going to be pretty quick. And we're just going to have to try and keep them behind us until their tyres wear off. How are our tyres looking? Three laps in. The front left's looking a bit worn because it's taken most of the punishment. But um, they don't look too bad. If they're not horrendous, seven or eight laps in as Magnuson just strolls around the outside. Got no pace in a straight line at all. And now Sergeant's gonna imagine getting mugged by Logan Sergeant. I'm gonna try and get back. Um Hamilton? Oh uh, Ricardo I meant. And back up into sixteenth place, but we've just got nothing in a straight line. Absolutely nothing. We've just got to hope that these guys keep squabbling with each other. So Magnus and Sergeant were the soft runners. And we've got medium runners behind us. So hopefully I can keep the uh, sort of the same pace as them. It's a lap four of this race now. Can we get back down the inside of Logan Sergeant? I'm going to try it. Jesus Christ. Lando Norris is out. That's us up a place. I still haven't made a clean overtake on this. You think you have it done and then the car just doesn't slow down in time and you smash into the back of someone else. They are starting to look fast now. I don't know whether the soft is fading. But we're actually looking quick here. We're closing on Magnussen. Are we going to be close enough to try and move? Not here. That's gone a bit wide there. Definitely into this next DRS zone. Onto the back of Kevin Magnussen, so slow there. Send one down the inside, give him a little squeeze, and that is us up into 13th place. Going really wide, and Magnussen's not close enough to take us out this time. I think the soft runners, as we set our fastest lap of the race, are 22.0. I think the soft runners are definitely starting to feel it now. Because Magnuson's pace has dropped, Sergeant's pace has dropped. 
So we might have actually got it right with the strategy here, even if it's going to be a bit of a lonely midfield race all the way from Sergeant and Magnuson now. And you can even see we're starting to catch up to Gasly and Sonoda. Well, not Gasly and Sonoda, Albon and Sonoda, I should say. But an absolute monster of a lap here. And we're less than a second now behind Sonoda as we go 120.2. And these soft runners are really, really starting to feel it now. As we head on to lap 6 of the race, our tyres are still looking fairly decent, I've got to say. But I think, I think my teammate might be holding these guys up as well. So Gazzy's at the front of this queue. I don't know if he's on soft tyres. We've got a, an objective to overtake Sonoda before lap 9. Hopefully he can go to the pits and make that easy for us. <laughs> But no, on current pace, we might be able to attack here. I say that, he's starting to pull away again. Maybe their their tyres have got a second wind, I don't know. But yeah, we're managing to sort of stick with them. But we can't quite close the gap, which is quite frustrating. Is Albon and Sonoda into pit? That'll be me achieving my objective by default. Yeah, there we go. Cheers for that. We're up into seventh place. The thing is, do we pit this lap or can we extend? I don't know if Gasly's planning to come in. I mean, that left front is looking pretty worn now. So they're telling me in this lap, but I really don't know if Gasly's going to come in as well. Because that could screw everything over. Because you think with him being lead car and he started ahead of me, you think he'd have priority. Obviously, you're the one playing the game, so maybe the game is based around you, which is nice. Right, our battery is draining. But we are closing on Gasly a little bit here. So we nail that right-hander. I'm hoping he's not going to come in before us. Maybe I can make up the team's mind and overtake him on track. It's not going to happen. Right, Gasly into the pits. No, Gasly stays out. We come into the pits, hopefully a nice, nice quick stop here, as all of the front runners come in to pit. Zhou Guan Yu all the way up to fourth, obviously I know he hasn't stopped yet. So out we go, we're going to get in front of Albon, it's going to be pretty tight, just going to get in front of us. Obviously he was just in front of us before he stopped, but we have jumped Yuki Tsunoda. So we've lost, well, lost out to Albon, but we have got in front of Sonoda, but Sonoda is on quicker tyres now, so he'll probably have an advantage for a couple of laps, and then hopefully his tyres will start to fade. I am really sorry if you can hear that banging in the background, it's just this was the only day I could do it, and it's just like the most horrendously windy day ever, and my roof is not very... Uh, windproof so i am really sorry if you can hear stuff coming through managing to stay with alex albon as uh pierre gasly comes into pit don't take too much of the curb we could even jump albon here which considering we're on a slower tire right don't get caught on the curb right here we go drs into play we're gonna get ahead we're gonna get ahead of gasly we are we're gonna jump pierre gasly our teammate now this is for a points position. All of a sudden, we're in the fight for points. I didn't think we would be. We were a very distant 13th. But now we've got an opportunity. We're going to send it. That was a bit of wheel banging. Albon kind of closed the door a little bit, but I managed to wedge my way up the inside. On You know, compared to previous moves I've made, I think that was reasonably fair. I did... Give Albon a little bit of a touch there, but I don't think I did anything too outrageous. But here comes Albon, he's going to come straight back at us, he's going to drive into the back of us. He's going to go down the inside. I'm going to try and. Oh, I got a little bit. I turned in too early and then had to correct. And he's going to get DRS. And hopefully that's not battle over. If I can just stick with him until. Pit straight, if I make stupid little mistakes like that, it's not going to happen. I've got DRS, but 
lost so much time on that last sector so I just kept running wide kept making really silly little mistakes we might have DRS at this time around we're not going to be close enough for an attempt but we can use it to put ourselves into contention obviously Sonoda's using it to put himself behind me the thing is I'm pretty good through the first sector reasonably good through the second sector and then it was the final sector we set purple Jesus um, so we're all over the back and it's Albon now as the weather outside has chosen the worst time to get really noisy we've got DRS can we make it work I don't think we can little touch of the wall into the back of Albon they're so slow through that corner you really have to like literally push them through because the speed differential is massive we're going to go down the inside of Alex Albon this is for 10th place, he's going to come back at us, but we just manage to stay ahead. With five laps to go, if we can keep it there, we keep running wide, Jesus, right. Right, we have to try and sort this break by us out, because I think that might help us turn the diff down a little bit. Albon comes back at us, I think we're going to wait until the next corner, try and get DRS, and then do it there. But we're not going to get DRS because we weren't behind, so that's backfired. Right, down the inside maybe. No, not quite. Oh, I messed up there. I should have let him through earlier. This is proving to be a, an interesting battle for the points, I've got to say. I'm really enjoying this. As we go really wide through there. But now I've got to be quite wary because Sonoda's behind. I've got no battery. I'm pretty much being a... a a human blocker on this uh, on this straight a mobile chicane as as martin brundle calls it but the battery's recharging but we got no pace and odor all the way around the outside could try and send it down the inside here ghastly giving me a tap in the back and we've lost another place so you'd think you'd think that this would be the time when the hard tires would come into play and we'd have more of an advantage but if anything i'm losing time which is just ridiculous. I've lost two places in one lap. Could lose another one here. But we've got the DRS. Can we make a move on Sonoda? Fair and clean move. We're not close enough. We're going to have to back off. I'm not bothered about this objective at all. I really don't care. I always run wide through that right hander. I either nail it or I get it totally wrong. There's no in between. But we have got some battery that we can use this lap. We've recharged it. We can use it. But to be honest, it's having absolutely no effect because I can't gain on Sonoda at all. But they are really slow through this corner. And this is the one place where I feel like we can really attack. To the inside on Sonoda. Dip on the inside. Give him a little squeeze. Let him know we're there. We're through for P11. Run a little bit wide, but we keep the place. Probably one of my cleanest overtakes, which doesn't say a lot. With three laps to go, we can now start attacking Alex Albon again. What we could really do with is a DNF, someone in the points to retire. And then we can just get top 10 by default if we can hold on. You can probably tell a lot of my achievements in life are through default. <laughs> All over the back of Alex Albon now. Into this DRS zone. So we follow him through this sequence of corners. I say a sequence of corners, it's two very long corners. Not close enough, we're just going to wait, bide our time. We know we're quicker through here. And get the DRS, get the inside line, down the inside, time it to perfection, and there we go, up into the points. But we all know with these two, with these, blah, 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 these three guys behind us, it can change, especially if I run wide like that. But we've got two laps to go, let's try and make it happen. We have actually passed our objective. Not that I really care. 
But this is where we're going to have to be really wary. It's, we've got Albon behind us. We'll try and send him down the outside if we can. Right, we managed to defend on one DRS straight. Can we do it on the next one? We've only got 12% battery. So I'm not optimistic at all. Albon is going to pass us like a friggin' express train. Yuki Tsunoda is going to pass us as well. But we have got the advantage. We're really quick ground here. But that hasn't worked. And Pierre Gasly's got passed as well with the DRS. And I have no answer to it at all. Absolutely no answer to it. They were far too quick. Even with a bit of a recharge battery. As we have a look down the inside of Gasly. So even with the recharge battery. There was nothing I could do. Absolutely nothing I could do. This The straight line speed in this car is non-existent. As we head into the final lap of the race. We've got a four car battle. For the last points position. Might have to send it here. Might have to send it. No, that was not on. And now I've compromised myself. I had to have a go, but it didn't work. It's given all it's done, really, is give Albon a bit of breathing space. Right, we're going to have DRS. We've got a little bit of battery, but that's draining very quickly, and we're still slow as hell through here. I want to at least try and finish ahead of Gasly, if I can. Got past him again, but... We're not going to be close enough now because we're too busy fighting each other that we've completely compromised ourselves. And that could be in a position here where I could finish behind Pierre Gasly as we've only got a few corners to go. We're just going to have to do what we did last time. Send it up the inside. Sorry, Pierre. See you later, mate. Right, we're not going to get points, but can we finish ahead of our teammate? It's going to be less of a drag race than I thought. It's going to be P12. And it's probably about right. Because that's kind of where we were around this, this place for the whole race anyway. We weren't quick enough to hold it. And yeah, we just... Straight line speed is something that we really do need to find upgrades for. Because we it cost us big time. We could have finished 10th. Um, but it didn't happen. So that's unfortunate. Max Verstappen takes the victory the red bull their first win of the season so yeah uh, Sainz and leclerc join him on the podium hamilton russell fourth and fifth sergio perez in sixth piastri stroll alonso and albon rounding out the top 10 which means as we look at the driver's standings it was pretty freaking close verstappen and russell both on 36 points each Sainz not far behind on 33 Leclerc in contention on 27, Hamilton on 20, and then obviously all of these guys down to myself with two points, Gasly with one point, Alex Albon getting on the board for Williams, everybody else with zero. And then the constructors looking very close again, Ferrari leading the way on 16, Mercedes on 56, Red Bull 44, then McLaren and Aston Martin ourselves on three, Williams getting their first point of the year. And then, let's see, uh, RB, oh, that name confused. I know it's RB. There's so much in the way. RB or VCarb, whatever you call them. Haas and Sauber, all yet to score. I don't think with Sauber that's going to change anytime soon unless a miracle happens. Um, but there we go. Um, a race that could have been better, could have been worse, I think. Obviously, we could have ended up. Finishing anywhere from 10th to 13th, we just didn't quite have the pace in the straight line to get ourselves some points. But never mind, well, it's a decent race, we'll move on to the next one, hopefully we can get some points in that. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you did. If you're new around here and you like what you see, why not get subscribed so that you can be notified of future videos like this one. Comment below any thoughts and suggestions you may have, if there's anything that you would like to see me do. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks once again. Have an awesome day. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.